Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a rather large Sisters of Battle army, which has been completed by Ben, one of the artists here at Siege. There are loads of great models in this force, guys. For any of you that are familiar with Sisters of Battle right from second edition to the present day, you'll be pleased to see there's loads of metal classic sculpts all the way through to the newer Saint Celestine, Gemini and Canoness Viridian. I won't give you away any spoilers now. There's loads of great sections of this video with all the HQs, troops and infantry and other units that are in this force. It's a real treat, this video, guys. So stick around, watch all the sections, and I really hope you enjoy. See you guys in a minute when you come back with all the characters. Hey guys, what better place to start than looking at all the characters from this Sisters of Battle Force, and there's quite a few. Uh, there are loads of iconic models from the classic Sisters of Battle range from 2nd edition, moving right the way forward through to the present new model, which is obviously Celestine and her Gemini at the back. So to start off with, we're going to have a look at uh, Canoness Viridian. The three Canonesses obviously in front of you here that you can see. You've got Viridian here with their full glory. Very, very classic uh, model from the old 2nd edition uh, Sisters of Battle Codex artwork uh, by John Blanche. And uh, you've got um, all of the areas of detail work, as you can see here, that have all been fully picked out and multiple colour highlighting throughout. And obviously a load of non-metallic metal that has been done uh, on the all different areas, including the sword, the kneecaps, and obviously her shoulder pad trims. Um, and various bits of filigree that are around her armoured sort of uh, corset sort of thing that she's got on. Uh, so moving around to the back as you can see here, all the areas of highlighting on the backpack and all the leg work and armour panels and everything as you can see there. And uh, the NMM that's done on the uh, uh, fleur de lay there and the little bits on the top of the backpack as you can see there. Um, Bolt pistol, really, really nice. It's got obviously the classic chevron pattern on it as well, and some chevrons on the wire here on top of a sort of a bionic eye sort of implement that she's got there as well, which is really nice. Uh, very, very classic model. Really lovely painting here done by Ben, and uh, all the multiple areas of highlighting that are done throughout all the different aspects of this uh, this model and this force. So that's Canoness Viridian. Uh, then we'll pull forward the two flanking Canonesses. Uh, these are some custom ones that the client has asked us to do for him with different sorts of bases, as in, for example, this one's got Dark Elder on his base and uh, the other one has a Dead Chaos Marine. Um, we've also got a uh, Space Wolf Power Axe that the client has requested that this uh, Canoness has, including a more uh, sort of Space Wolfy kind of um, sort of back cape sort of thing. So it's kind of obviously, I'm guessing that you must always have a Space Wolf Army or fight with Space Wolf Armies, which is really cool. Uh, all there is a multiple highlighting on this classic model here, you can see with the Inferno Pistol and also her many, many intricate areas of detail throughout her armoured sort of form. Uh, again, loads and loads of details, all picked out and fully highlighted throughout. So that's just one of the canonesses. We'll pull forward the other one so you can have a look. Uh, very similar here as well. So we've obviously got the same model, but obviously with a slightly different loadout where the chainsword and flame pistol. And obviously a dead cow space marine on the base, as you can see there as well. Just obviously some bitter rivalry, I'm guessing, with one of his friends uh, of our client. And then obviously it's got a little custom iron halo as well that's been put on there. And then moving around the back, as you can see here, you've got the full highlighting work and contrast applied on the cape and with flame work that's done there on the bait. burning braziers on the top of her, top of her backpack. Uh, so that's just one of the the Canonesses. Um, we'll start from left to right, so we'll go with one of the classic preacher priest kind of models. I absolutely love this model. Uh, it brings back my childhood. I remember it very, very vividly from when I was uh, starting the hobby many, many years ago. Um, and as you can see here, all of the scripture work that's done in the book, um, all the multiple highlighting on the cape and sort of the gorget sort of uh, bib thing that he's got, which is quite cool. Um, I've always liked the fact that he's got like a massive backpack on, and then you've got the straps on the front of him as well, which is really cool. And then obviously on the chainsaw there, you can see you've got some chevron work done on the sort of guard area and also on either side of the, uh, the, the leading edge of the blade as well, or, or teeth, as you can see there. Moved around the back of him, so you can see that. It's also repeated on this side with some damage there on the chainsaw, some scratches and bits and bobs. And you've got all the text there done, all the uh, purity seals and bits of parchment as well. Uh, but a really cool model. Very, very classic, but like, painted extremely exquisitely here by Ben. Uh, so that's just one of the priests or preachers. We'll then pull forward the infamous Uriah Jacobus with his massive shotgun as you can see here and uh, lots of detail work fully picked out in bellowing away there as you can see. You've got the coals burning in the brazier at the top there and all the detail work done on uh, the banner here as you can see a bit of freehand with the skulls and writing and other bits and bobs. All the areas of uh, detail like the shotgun shells, his, his tabard, his cape, the metal plates of armour that he's got uh, sort of strapped to him, all multiple highlighted and picked out as well just to give it a, a real sort of real life scent vibe to him really and then on the backpack as you can see here as well the same effect with the chevron in done on the chainsaw that there were scratches and damage done to that as well and uh, his brilliant shotgun as you can see there with uh, with all the detail work fully picked out and the edges of the gold as you can see there sort of highlighted as well on edge just to really make it look ornate uh, it's actually Raya Jacobus put him back 
Another model that doesn't really get a lot of uh, limelight is uh, one of the Sister Hospitaliers. Uh, a really, really cool model. I actually really do love the sculpt on this. It's a very classic model, and you don't really see a lot of them in Sisters Forces now, which I hope that changes with the uh, new models coming in 2019. Uh, but as you can see here, we've got added a lot of contrast onto the uh, River Cape sort of thing, so you've got some nice blue in the recesses there as well, which is really cool. And then uh, moving around the front, her armour as well is also all picked out and edge highlighted, and so it's through various colours just to really make it those edges sort of show that they're capturing in the light all the gold work as well fully picked out and highlighted as you can see there which is really nice so that's just a sister hospitalia um our client's got an, an assassin in this force so obviously in a, a uh, vindicare as you can see here and a uh, lovely model plastic obviously uh, with loads and loads of detail uh, and the base is obviously very cool as well with these brassy areas having a bit of verdigris done on them as well and some sort of uh, runoff there from the the, the pipe or the the rods coming there, some just sort of streaks as well, which is really cool. Uh, you can see the pipe there has all been picked out and highlighted with a chevron pattern. And uh, move around the front, you can see all of the, even the bullets have all been picked out as well, which is really really cool with a really cool sort of green tipped sort of special type of ammunition, as I'm sure that he has. And then the visor, all the point of light source, refraction of light, edge highlighted throughout, point of light source, and all the stealth suit as well. And uh, it looks really, really menacing as well. A great model. One of the new plastic assassins, as uh, I mentioned earlier, and uh, probably one of my favourite models from the uh, from the verse from all of the sort of um, assassins. The Vindicare and the Versa take take top sort of positions for me. And then you can see all the uh, buttons and things on his backpack, fully picked out like gems as well, all highlighted with point of light source and dot of entry and exit of light as well, which is really cool. And uh, a great model. And uh, so that's just the uh, Vindicare. We now move on to the real cherry on the cake. So we obviously look at uh, Celestine and her Gemini. Pull forward one of the uh, Gemini first of all. As you can see here, the refraction of light and lightning effect there on uh, the sword, which has all been done by hand. Uh, all the filigree and uh, fleur de lace, wings, all those bits and bobs have all been sort of done with non metallic metal as well, as you can see there. You've got the free hand on the tassels as well there, just to add that little bit of detail onto those. As you can see on both of those, it's been done. Uh, move around the other side as well, as you can see here, all the different areas of highlighted on the armor on the black has all been picked out. So it's really, really sinister looking armor, which is really cool. More non metallic metal there on the backpack on the fleur de lace and also on the top rungs of that jump pack. And uh, even on top of the bolt pistol, the casing has also been done in non-metallic metal as well for these uh, these models, just because they are going with Celestine and she is the real centerpiece of this force. Uh, some spot highlights as well, as you can see there on the shoulder pads as well, which is really cool. So that's just one of the Gemini. We'll pull forward the other one because we're going to save the best till last. And uh, as you can see here, again, really, really cool uh, pose as well. I cannot wait for Plastic Seraphim to come out when they uh, finally do them in 2019 after the announcement. And uh, as you can see here, some absolutely brilliant, brilliant models all in this force, finished off with these Gemini. And uh, just before we get to Celestine, as you can see, little rose there on her thigh as well, all picked out. Same consistency of work throughout all the models in this force. And uh, great addition to any Sisters of Battle Army, the Gemini and Celestine. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the final model, which obviously is Celestine herself. An absolutely stunning model, um, even before any paints applied. Uh, as you can see here, all the areas of detail work. She is absolutely covered in detail and all the filigree, armor, armor sort of extra details, the gorget, the fleur de lays, everything has all been picked out in non-metallic metal. And uh, you've got the really nice tassels there all hanging down as well that are fully sort of detailed and uh, with scripture on them, with freehand fleur de lays and other bits of scripture and stuff, which is really cool. Um, contrast added there on the doves, just a nice blue to offset against the rest of the whites on the model because obviously the wings do dominate quite a bit on this model. Just get to refocus for you guys. You've got some spot highlights there on the shoulder pads and different areas of detail uh, on the different areas of the armour, just so that refraction of light on the black armour. Uh, the sword's really cool with all the roses and everything in it, as you can see, fully highlighted and point of light source done on the sword with some lightning as well, which is really cool. And we'll just move around the back so you can have a look. She's got the iron halo as well, it's fully picked out with obviously the skull as well, as you can see there. And a nice refraction of light there done on the cape and contrast added on those areas as well, as you can see there. So just going to turn her around so you can see the front of her again. All that freehand there on that inner, inner cape as well has been done. Uh, but overall, an absolutely stunning model, and uh, back with the rest of the characters and leaders from this force, and just get a final shot of all of them for you to have a look at. Uh, let's get the focus, there we go. And uh, that's all the characters this army do. So we're going to come back in a second with the next section, which will be the troops. Hope you like it, stick around, loads more coming. See you in a sec. Hi hey guys, so here are all the troops of this Sisters Battle Force. Uh, you have three Retributor squads all armed with heavy bolters, which you can see at the back. You've got two Seraphim squads with the, the same loadouts. 
and then you have two five sister squads as well flanking the central dominion squads that you can see there all armed with melter guns oh and also two simulcrum imperialist banners as well uh, so we'll pull forward a few models just from this force just so you can have a look and we'll work our way from the front to the back just so you can see so we'll start off with a couple from the front squad here just get this to focus for you guys so you can see here really classic classic models uh, always been a massive fan of these uh, sister battle models whatever they are uh, whether they're sort of uh, the retributor variant that you can see here with a heavy flamer or or right through to sort of the simple sort of bolt gun sisters uh, lovely lovely models that have lasted the test of time a lot of people have been asking for new models for a very very long time uh, but Games Workshop have finally answered all of our prayers and uh, we hopefully will be getting some in 2019 but uh, back to this uh, I digress um, we've got obviously lots of detail work throughout this force um, very very similar on all the models across this force so like for example the uh, fleur de lay on the shoulder the wing on the other shoulder and obviously the robes and things, just weapon loadouts are different. So here you can see obviously just one of the heavy flamers uh, from this front five sister units. You also pull forward one of the uh, really cool uh, sergeants, as you can see here, Sister Superior. Just with a bolt gun, as you can see there, and all the lenses are there, they're all picked out, as you can see. Nice green tassel there, um, holding her inquisitional eye that's like marble effect on there as well, on the inquisitional eye. So that's just one of the uh, Sister Superiors. Um, we've also got uh, a very sort of one of my favourite models from the range, obviously one of the helmeted uh, sisters, which is really cool. Um, always like the mark of armour that they had, and I think the, uh, the, the the helmets are really cool. And I used to, I personally used to use just the helmeted ones for my Celestians, just to show those uh, as, as different from the normal uh, sister squads. That's how I, I used to work them out. But uh, back to this, I really do like it. Obviously, there you've got point of light source, and you've also got a little um, refraction light spot highlight there on top of the helmet. Um, as you can see, same consistency across this force. So all the lenses on the guns all picked out. All the areas of detail work. Fully highlighted all through different all the capes and everything as you can see that's just one of the sisters and then pull forward a few more just from different squads so heavy uh, a flamer here as you can see again with the lens all picked out and uh, all the same consistency of highlighting throughout all the different areas of black armor i'm not going to pull forward every single model because they are very very repetitive um but there as you can see that's just another one of those pull forward one of the storm bolters just taking a look at the storm bolter as you can see here again all the areas of highlighting on the lenses, on the inside of the capes and cloths, uh, all the different inquisitional wires all made to look like marble as well, which is really nice. And uh, that's just one of the Storm Bolter sisters. Pull forward a couple of melter guns so you can have a look at these. Again, same consistency of work throughout. Really, really cool models. Uh, I used to run lots of Dominion squads in my sister's force. Um, just the really, really are probably one of my favourite units in, in the uh, sister's army, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and then pull forward these Simulcrum banners so you can have a look at these as well. Another cool model from the uh, from the force. Moving around, loads of detail work there on all the tapestries and bits and bobs. So the, uh, loads of freehand script and all those uh, bits of parchment as well, as you can see there. All the lenses all picked out, multiple highlighting and point of light source white dot as well. And then we'll move on to the Seraphim. So we'll pull forward a few of these. So as you can see here, uh, dual bolt pistol. Always like these as well. Again, really looking forward to some plastics of these, which should be really, really good. Uh, so that's just one of the Seraphim. And uh, pull forward a couple. This one's actually converted. So as you can see, this previous version had bolt pistols. I wanted some uh, two flamer pistols in each unit. So as you can see here, we've put some uh, different flamer pistols unconverted. This model, so she is wielding dual flamer pistols, as you can see there. Um, and then pull forward one of the sergeants. Or superiors, should I say? Again, same consistency on power weapons through the force, all the refraction of light on the swords, and you've got obviously the lightning effect there as well. This one's on with a plasma, as you can see there. So that's just one of the sister superiors, and then we'll pull forward the other one, exactly the same as you can see here, just to show you the consistency of work throughout. Again, another one of the uh, Seraphim superiors, uh, and then pull forward a few more. Another one of the traditional sculpts, as you can see here, dual pistol. Just having a look at that, great models. They have really lasted the 20 years, honestly, um, and I think that people are going to be very, very pleasantly su uh, surprised, I guess, when you know GW kits, the recent ones, and all the new plastics have been amazing. So just think a year's time, how good the sculpts are going to be, uh, even better than what we've got currently on the market. Some of the new stuff that's come out recently is just going to be incredible. Uh, so again, yeah, just a heavy bolter here from one of the uh, retributor squads at the back of the force. There are three, so I'm not going to pull forward every single one. Pull forward a sergeant or superior, so you can have a look at her as well. Again, really, really cool model. Always like the outstretched stance of this one as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just one of the uh, sister superiors. Again, so lots and lots of infantry in this Sisters of Battle Force. Just give you an overall shot again so you can see them all. Uh, great models, great force. And uh, up next, we're going to be having a look at the transports and also the night. So stick around, coming up shortly. Hope you liked it so far, guys.
So to finish up this great army guys, we're going to have a look at the three immolators and the knight from this force. Uh, it's great, great models and uh, really iconic this is a battle tank. Um, it has a very good different sort of firepower obviously with the flamers or you can have melter weapons or you can have a revolters. Uh, so again that holy trinity of uh, of weapons for the sisters and they have. Um, lots of work has gone into these, all the lenses and everything that you'll see. I'm going to pull, pull them forward so you can have a look at them. Um, and they've also got some additional freehand on them as well, which is really nice. So we'll just pull one forward just initially to start off with and have a look at. Uh, so as you can see here, really nice edge highlighting on all of the aspects of the armor panels and all the finalities and details all fully picked out. As you can see there, extra little bits of detail and Sisters of Battle detail included across all of these tanks. As you can see there, you've got the gunner in there with their um, all the lenses on their sort of helmet all picked out with point of light source and the refraction on the lenses as well. Uh, really, really nice transitional colors there on all the uh, sort of arched cathedral lights lenses on this tank as well as you can see here and then moving around the front we've got some really cool freehand uh, this tank obviously saying kneel and die all the different banner scripts have been chosen by our client and uh, as you can see there that's one of the immolators. Uh, obviously, you've got hunter killer missile there as well. Again, with the little lens all picked out on that one. Uh, pull forward the other one just so you can have a look. Exactly the same. I'm just going to show you the uh, the front front free hands. You can see you've got the banner there. As you can see, we are absolution on this one. Uh, moving around again, same consistency and quality of execution throughout on all of the models on this force. Again, as you can see there, really really nice nice transition on the red here as well on the front armored sections. And then the final one. Pull that forward, uh, we are Scorn, uh, the freehand that's been done on this one. And uh, just moving around here, around the back, just to give that a nice turn for you to have a look at all the aspects of detail on it. Really nice symmetry on all the additional plates and things that have been put on them as well. So that's the emulators. Uh, and then we'll just have a look at the big guy himself. Pull these to one side so you can have a look at him. Uh, loads has been done to this model. So just get that in full shot so you can see here. Obviously straight away you can see it's got a really nice freehanded shield, the lion head and crown on there. Some nice NMM that's done on the crown as well. And then moving around, all the metal work has had loads and loads of grime and, and dirt sort of put in it. So it gives it that real ancient kind of look to it uh, in all the recessed areas and the nice gold contrast in brighter areas with mechanic symbol all fully painted. Uh, and then you've got all the extra little details like the transfers have all been put on really, really nice and flush with the model, which is nice. Added some subtle uh, Sisters of Battle aspects to the model, as you can see here, just where the normal sort of symbol bit would be on the night. Ben's gone in and added one of the uh, Sisters of Battle specific sort of symbols on there, which is really Really cool. Got a nice little fleur de lay there as well, also on the top of it. Extra little purity seals are added on there as well, and also all the lenses and everything on the missile rack there at the top have all been uh, sort of picked out for that targeting sort of look as well. Uh, really cool base as well. Really, really damaged. Loads of bits of uh, of different aspects of detail work included on there. You got some old, very old sort of ruins here from the sort of third edition 40k that we put on there. Um, <clears throat> you've also got some sort of bits of rhinos drop pods and uh, other bits of tubing and stuff just to give it a really really cool base and interesting detail work and the banner as well something quite interesting uh, some of those plates have actually been put onto the banner as well which is really nice uh, just to make them look obviously sister of battle-esque uh, again so that's the night from this uh, this commission i hope you like it guys it's been a great commission we'll round up now with an, again with an army shot uh, i hope you like it and uh, stick around for the last section of the video and uh, we'll see you in a second So there we are guys, I hope you have liked this commission completion video and this amazing Sisters of Battle army that we've had the pleasure of working on. If you've liked what you've seen and you'd like to take a mission out here with us here at Siege Studios, then please head to our website www.siegestudios.co.uk or click down in the description and you'll find all the links to our social media and our website as well. From all the guys and myself here at Siege, thank you for watching and as always, please like, please comment and please subscribe because it really helps us out. And uh, we like to chat to you guys in the comments. See you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.